Hi guys, I'm going to show you around the property today. So I've just moved the motor out of the way, just parked it opposite our house. Uh, there's no one living there at the moment anyway, they're trying to sell it or rent it. So it gives us a bit more space to have a walk around. Toon's busy cleaning the fish anyway, so it gives her a bit more space. It's not that I'm dodging cleaning the fish as much as I like it. I've already done my bit, which is descaling. Okay, so this bit on the right hand side of the front of the property is our shop. Just sell basic stuff really. There's drinks and uh, tobacco and a few bits and bobs for the house. Uh, the reason it's a different colour at the front is because only a couple of months ago we had about three foot chopped off the shop because the village wanted a drain put in all the way down the side of the road. And then they put over the top of it sort of like an access area. So challenging times. We got the sliding gates. My England flag's looking a bit sad now. The red paint's peeling off. It's been on there about a year and a half. Thailand flag's still looking not too bad. We've got plants everywhere. We're trying to build up our stock of plants to take to the farm. We're going to live there soon. So we've got water lilies, all these bits and bobs. We've got little fish in there, oxygenating plants. Lilies are nice little flowers. Okay, and the snake of God angel, which is Toon's angel. For the past year or so, we've been uh, busy collecting and doing cuttings of various plants. Loads and loads of fruit trees, over 60 fruit trees in the farm. But uh, we want the house and gardens to look really nice, so we've been collecting and collecting, and they're all ready to go. There's Toon just cleaning the fish, getting ready to do the ballard. Bambi's got stomach ache, she's eating too many fish heads again. In my Bambi! Oh yeah. There we go. Chagwai. Well, you don't get much sense out of that girl anyway. We've got a couple of aircon units on the house, so we've got the main bedroom and the main lounge in there. I'm not going to walk through the house. It's not a watch my crib or a post like that. Outside, looks like a junkyard at the moment, but it's all the stuff that I used to have organized down the side of the house. But since we've got these two Herberts, uh, we had to move everything because they were eating and chewing and basically destroying everything that we had in there. So we have to move everything. As you see, there's absolutely nothing in there apart from the dog's bowl. Now these two have just been fed, so hopefully they won't be jumping up at the video camera. We've had about 30 fish heads each. Here, full spoon. Hmm? Full girl. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah, jealous boy. I don't forget you. Chew yourself. Hey, chill yourself. Strange boy. Here, well, it's turned into the dog's water bowl, really. Clot, chill yourself, mate. Um, it was tuned soft turtle tank, but uh, it didn't go that well. Because once the dog found the turtles, they, uh, apparently they developed a bit of a taste. Clot, wind your neck in, boy. Hey? Wind your neck in, fella. Uh. Oi. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a look round the back. Now, I did mention on one of the previous videos, I think it was called Meet the Mutts. Uh, Spoon is an incredible escape artist, so we've had to strap any bit of junk stuff along the fence here to stop her getting out. She's that clever. We used to keep them in a... Uh, in a dog cage when they're a puppy and to sort of like ease their pain of moving out of the house and gradually into their own area we moved the crate out 
and they used to sleep in here at night time. However, when we weren't around, Spoon would go behind the crate and push it up against the wall and then jump over the fence. She is spookily intelligent, that dog. A dog with two brains. Okay. This gate's useless because they just jump straight over it so don't even bother closing it. That's why the other gate has got loads of other bits strapped to it. This green netting is here purely to keep some of the sun out because it's pig hot here. Absolutely sweltering. Now before I show you the garden, I'd just like to tell you we had a beautiful garden here before we had Clock and Spoon and they've destroyed it. I don't really mind though because we're never going to stay here very long. Um, one of my proudest projects was building my storm drain. And my little bridge over the top there, used all the old broken tiles, I thought it would come out quite well. And well, it's getting a bit overgrown at the side, it's lovely and straight. So one of my prouder achievements. This setup here is an electric pump, so if the water goes off, the water main, we've already got this topped up right to the top all the time. And then we just flick the switch, open the pipe, and then we've got water. I wouldn't drink it, but uh, I've got my Britax filter in the house, so that's okay. Uh, tie style, still can't get my head around this. The plumbing on the outside of everything, oh, I think it's ugly as sin. But I wasn't here when it was all fitted. The new house is a bit more like a UK style. Everything's buried, you can't see anything. Now this beast, and there's another one over there, is bamboo. But it's not ordinary bamboo that you normally see in Thailand. It's from Taiwan, this stuff. And it is massive. This is about six months old. So I'm not very good with height, but that's got to be a good 18, 20 foot high. And it's what we're going to be growing on the farm as our, our main produce. Now remember, these are only six months old. And you can only just get your hands round there. Okay. They'll be like that later on. So most of them will be used for uh, selling on as food. It's really crispy bamboo when you boil it. Uh, there's no string, there's no hair on it. So very, very good. Uh, but it is high maintenance. The only reason we put it in the back of the garden was to, to test run it really, see what it's like to grow, what it tasted like. Uh, and also we'll be splitting the the crowns, I think that's the correct terminology for the for the roots. We're going to split them and just try and get into this one. So we don't have to buy so many plants when we get on the farm. You can just see a couple new shoots coming up now. So these are just probably about two or three days old. Another couple there. Now remember this is the dry season. The beauty of this bamboo is it grows all year. Whereas the Thai bamboo, it hasn't grown an inch for about three months. So if you give it water, and heaven forbid you give it any vitamins, sustenance, it's going to grow like crazy. So even my pathways have been destroyed. I had lovely big boulders, all the chippings, and because they use it as a racetrack now, the garden, everything just goes flying everywhere. Here we've got the uh, miniature eggplants. Very nice. Yeah, this garden was half full of vegetables and salad. Again, before the dogs. Also got a cherry tree here. Uh, we did have other trees in these containers. But we've already stripped the trees out of there and taken them down to the farm. Over here we've got one of Toon's favourite vegetables or fresh salad called Chaom. Very, very fragrant uh, and very spiky. If you don't know what you're doing, you'll get a mouthful of those. There's lots of bits and bobs in here that you can eat. We've got all the lemongrass, so easy to grow. 
looks like a weed half the time. Basil plant is looking a bit shady now, but the thing is it's all self-seeding as soon as we get a bit of rain. There'll be honestly there'll be thousands and thousands of plants just self-seeded. And then we got the girls. Got ten of them. Uh, we're aiming to have about 40 when we move to the farm. We got a nice outlet from a, a woman who owns a noodle shop nearby. She uh, she has all our eggs that we don't eat. And she wants more. Also we're gonna have ducks as well. She said she'll buy those. Uh, she buys our bala, our stinky fish, so it's it's all go. It's all good. Uh, this huge thing here is just ornamental, but again, like so many things in Thailand, they're out to hurt you. So you've got to be incredibly careful. Uh, this obelisk is our papaya tree. There's a couple of skinny papayas left up there. Um, in fairness. We haven't had great success with papaya yet, and that was our first try. We've got a few others on the farm. They're, they're healthy enough, but they're not growing very well. And then we've got a part of the garden. You have to be quite careful, because to get down the side, you've got to walk along the pond, or one of the ponds, and this is the deep one. It's all right saying you've got to be careful, but Klopp doesn't understand that, and he's took a dip already. And this is deeper than me. It's quite full at the moment. Uh, but he disappeared, and that was the first time he swam. But unfortunately, he swam downwards, and Toon couldn't actually drag him out for about 10 seconds. He disappeared totally. Now, I'm not a flowery type of guy, but you've got to be honest. The flowers in Thailand do take some beating. Considering how harsh the environment is, the quality of flowers you get is just incredible. And we don't take care of these anymore. We just haven't got time. Now that we're uh, building the other place and uh, trying to get enough fish processed, because the orders are going through the roof now, for our balar and, uh, and other types of fish. We just haven't got enough time to, to keep on top of stuff, so we need to get out of here and on the farm just to free us up some time. We, we can't be going fishing every day as much as we love it. Uh, we need to be throwing a net in once, getting the fish, processing them, and then that's done. 